Hello artists, I'm Miss Jean and this is Abington Art Center's Art Anywhere for Kids. Okay artists, I'm so excited for you to join me today because I'll be showing you how to make fish kites or koinobori. Koinobori or fish kites come from Japan. They are usually found on May 5th, which is the Japanese holiday known as Kodomo no Hi, or Children's Day. On Kodomo no Hi, families all over Japan celebrate growth and happiness of their children. Each household raises the koinobori fish on a pole with one fish to represent each member of their household. Now that you know all about Children's Day, here's what you need to make your very own koinobori fish kite. A 12 by 18 sheet of construction paper, some yarn, streamers, a toilet paper tube, a stapler, a pencil, some tape, a pair of scissors, a hole puncher, and something to color with. I'll be using some well-loved oil pastels. However, you can use whatever you like, crayons, markers, whatever's your favorite. I also have this fish stencil, which you can download and print by visiting our website, abingtonartcenter.org, or by clicking the link in the description. If you don't have some of these supplies, that's okay. You can use ribbon instead of streamers. You can use your scissors if you don't have a hole punch. You could even tape two pieces of paper together if you don't have a big piece of construction paper like I do. Our first step is to take our piece of construction paper and to fold it in half long ways. All right, so what I like to do is I like to match up my two top corners and then I go to the middle and pull down and then I smooth it across. Okay. Our next step is to take our fish stencil. We want to align the smooth part of our stencil to the fold. We want the bumpy part facing the edges, the open part of our paper, okay? Our next step is to take our pencil and trace as best we can around our stencil. Perfect. The bumpy parts can be a little tough. I'm getting a tail. And this little part right in here where the body meets the tail. Okay, all right. So it might be hard for you to see, but I do have my line that I've traced from my stencil. So my next step is I wanna cut it out. And since I have this crease in the middle, I'm not gonna cut the one side, I'm gonna keep it folded and I'm going to cut both of the sides together at the same time. Now I'm gonna do the tail. Okay, there we go, there's my fish. I've got these scraps. You can always put your scraps in the recycling bin. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to make our Koino Booty Fish Kite look a little more fishy, and we're gonna do that by coloring. You'll see that I have these bumps, bump, 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 bump. So this bump that's right next to the mouth over here, I'm going to draw a nice circle. There we go. Okay, and if we wanna make our circle look a little more fishy, all we have to do is we have to add more circles inside of our circle. Oh, that purple. Ooh, I like that purple. And I might even get some white. Put it on, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, that looks awesome. And maybe some on the outside too.
Okay, awesome. All right, so the next step is we're gonna give our fish a great big fishy face. So I'm gonna start at this next bump right over here. And I'm almost gonna make a big cloud shape by making kind of this C. And then a couple more bumps. Bump, bump, bump. And one more bump. And you can do the same thing you did with your fish eye. You can add a couple more colors to that outline. I think I'm gonna stick with the white for now, but maybe later I'll use some cool colors. So bump, 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 bump. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to give our fish some scales. All right. So it's basically um, a U shape, except it's tilted on the side, or you could also call it a C shape. So let's get, I think I'm going to do my light blue like I have in my eye. And I'm going to get a big bump over here. Big bump. Maybe it goes off my fish a little bit. And I'm gonna make another big bump. All right, so this top part of our fish is going to be one of the fins. So I'm gonna draw a line that separates the fin from the body. Okay, and that way I can draw the rest of my scales. Bump, 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 bump. Okay, I'm going to draw one or two more. There we go. Ooh, I love that blue against that red. It just really pops out. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some details inside of the fin. And I'm gonna do that by making kind of like this rainbow shape right here, and then I'm gonna close it at the bottom so it's like a half circle. All right, I'm gonna keep going with it. The last thing we have to do is we have to add some nice little details in our tail. The easiest thing to do is to just add some lines. I start at the tip of the tail and I come towards the center. And it can have a little bit of a curve to it, doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Same thing over here. And I'm gonna do the thing, same thing in the other fin. Okay, so that's our basic drawing for a Koino Booty Fish Cake. I'm gonna fast forward ahead and add some details, but feel free to pause the video so you can add details of your own. details. Now I'm only going to do the one side for my fish, but feel free to do both sides and they could be completely different. They could be the same. It's up to you. You might need an adult to help you with this next part. I'm going to take my stapler and I'm going to take my toilet paper tube. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay it inside of our fish mouth and I'm going to have it as close to that edge as possible. See that? And I'm going to staple my tube. I don't want it sticking out so much. There we go. I'll push it out. Okay. So I'm going to staple it on the one side and staple it on the other side. Great. Okay. So next up, I'm going to take my streamers and tape them to the inside of my fish. Okay. I already have some streamers cut but you can use ribbon, you can use paper, anything that's long and light. All right, so I'm gonna take some tape and tape them to the inside. We're almost done our Koino Booty Fish Cut. The last thing we need is we need to close it up and then we need to add a string so we can hang it up. So we're gonna take our stapler and we're just going to staple. I usually do three. So I do one near the mouth at the top, one, 
two, and then one near the tail, three. Okay, awesome. Oh, look at that, that's beautiful. Ooh, yeah, it's coming together. Okay, so we're going to punch some holes into our fish. So we're going to do it near the mouth. And if you can, you can put it through the toilet paper tube. However, uh, you can also do it just above there. I'm gonna see if I can get it through the tube. Oh yeah, there we go. And the other side. So the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my yarn and about 12 inches is a good length. Okay. And I'm going to put my string through both holes, see? So I'm gonna put it through one hole on this side and then put it through the toilet paper tube. See that on the other side? And then I'm going to tie a knot on the end. And wow, look at that. We're done our koino booty or our fish kite. It's so beautiful. I had so much fun making this with you today, artists. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, please hit subscribe below. You can also give us a like, hit that bell, follow Abington Art Center on social media, or simply tell a friend. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, bye-bye.